A certain type of salamander is turning up dead in large numbers along the Olympic Peninsula. Erica Zuko from our sister station in Seattle hiked into the woods with researchers to figure out why. At a remote alpine lake in the South Olympic Mountains. This is a relatively natural lake that you might see kind of anywhere in the Cascades or Olympics in Washington. This is a nice garter snake. Home to abundant wildlife and an active ecosystem. Or other highly toxic critter in this area. Max Lambert is on a mission. The research scientist for Washington Fish and Wildlife was out on a hike when a mystery first surfaced. It's not rushed back to find a bunch of amphibians dying off. He spotted dead rough skin newts with no clear cause of death and some live ones that had red markings on their throats. Sores on his chin. Probably an inf infection. Now a study is underway to find out why. So get dirty. We hiked in with Lambert in late summer. The lake had shrunk, leaving thick mud behind. I told you glorping, didn't I? In search of newts and answers. What might be causing the animals to die in these large numbers for multiple years in a row? When our first dead newts up here. The first disturbing discovery came just minutes in, emaciated and bloated. I never seen one that's actually like this swollen like this. Typically they're like all completely just totally desiccated. In the dried earth near the lake, several had washed up. Not a single live newt yet. He saved a few dead specimens for study before an adjoining pond revealed right some now. still alive. A little pool here, we got about six newts. Several looked healthy. Well, skinny, but okay. Others were more lethargic than normal. This part of the search also revealed more clues, as we found dragonfly and damselfly larvae in the water. They aren't starving to death because they don't, there's no food available. So was there another reason some weren't eating? Lambert gathered the newts, recording the condition of the dead ones. Pretty skinny, pretty emaciated, and their skins are basically cooked onto them. And going further as he assessed the live ones. You can see all these rough glands along his back and tail. He recorded length, weight, and the characteristics that could show signs of what's going wrong. These are rough skin newt here on his throat. We see these two or three big defects, we call them. Probably an infection of some sort okay. going on there. Oh, okay. He swabbed their stomachs and between their toes to test for the kind of pathogens and bacteria hikers or animals could have tracked in. It could also be a pathogen that's been here for 100 years and has been totally fine for all that time frame. And then climate change has triggered it to become a little more prevalent um, or impactful to the animals. He sampled water pH and temperature as they search for potential causes. Whether pollution, climate impacts, or something else entirely are to blame, Lambert says cracking this case is about more than this common species. Everything's connected. These are, are good uh, pulse on the environment for things like climate change, for things like new pathogens. Um, they help us keep our ecosystems healthy. As for the newts themselves. All right, friends, time to go home. Thank you for your contribution. He released them after sampling with hopes that the healthy ones will make it through a full life cycle and prepared for the next step of the journey to find answers. From the Olympic Peninsula, Erica Zuko. That's the way you want to go. King 5 News.